Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to my channel once again. And today we're back in Elite Dangerous. Now it's been a while since uh, I've played Elite Dangerous. A lot longer than I wanted to leave it. That's mainly due to the fact that I'm pretty busy at work. And I seem to be taking more and more time doing editing on my channel. And to be honest, I really want to spend some more time playing games. Uh, I'm going to carry on obviously doing the channel. As long as I enjoy doing the videos, I shall continue. I don't get a lot of views or subscribers. But uh, as long as the enjoyment there, I'll carry on. Anyway, as we approach this icy ringed planet, we can see one of the changes which has been implemented recently in Elite Dangerous. Now the level of detail on the planetary bodies have been, uh, well, it's much more defined than what it was earlier. And you can actually literally see the cracks in the ice of this uh, icy planetary body. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a, an ocean underneath. And maybe some life. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out sometime in the future. Because uh, somewhere down the line, you'll be able to land on uh, some planets in Elite Dangerous. If you're lucky enough to find a planet which is inhabited, you'll even see the lights from their cities shining out in space. Now it has been a while since I played Elite Dangerous but my return to the game was uh, mainly thanks to a message from one of my recent subscribers who had seen one of my previous Elite Dangerous videos where I was doing something like this. Well, my subscriber actually uh, expressed a wish to play with me sometime. And obviously I explained that uh, I don't get a lot of time to play, but, uh, well, basically, uh, when I get back into the game, I certainly would give it a try. Anyway, the other day I uh, set out to uh, find where my subscriber was. And uh, my journey down to find him, or her, was not without incident. Now thanks to the new uh, route planning enhancements in Elite Dangerous where you can plot routes across the galaxy up to a thousand light years I was able to plot a course uh, to the last known location of my subscriber down at Maridor. And after um, enhancing my eagle for some longer distance travel I set about on my journey. But things didn't go very smoothly as uh, I was taken unawares by, well, a rather nasty character. I was actually having a cup of tea and a cake at the time, so I was unable to uh, escape this interdiction, and uh, I barely escaped, uh, well, with my ship intact. Ready to engage. 
Well, I just about managed to uh, escape that encounter and I was grateful to find a nearby space station. I still had a long journey ahead of me and uh, I was finding already that space can be extremely lonely and extremely dangerous. I still had a long journey ahead of me. I would encounter icy ringed planets, fiery suns and distant star ports. Until finally, I managed to reach Vernadasky Pool, which was within 20 light years of my destination. But not all commanders were welcome there. Fortunately, I managed to land. And this is where I would have my deep space rendezvous. After a brief time, my subscriber appeared outside the starport. We were only limited to a text chat, but I knew what we were both going to do. We were going to do some bounty hunting at a nearby ringed planet. Now, of course, at the moment in Elite Dangerous, when you go to frameshift drive, it can be a little tricky keeping together. Obviously, in March, with the next update, there's going to be a totally new way to play. You're going to be able to form wings of up to four players and share each other's information from their HUDs in your cockpits. You'll be able to lock on to all your wingmen and go into frameshift drive together. And you won't get uh, lost like what nearly happened to uh, myself and NEXU18. But we got there in the end. And then we engaged in some bounty hunting. Now obviously in the future as well, the AI NPCs will also be able to group together in wings of up to four. So this type of bounty hunting is set to get a lot more dangerous. But one advantage of the new system will be that uh, if you're in a wing of four or maybe even two or three, you'll all be able to share in the bounties gathered.
shields offline. Well, I'd like to thank NETXU18 for taking the time to meet up with me out in deep space. And I have a feeling with the upcoming changes with wings in Elite Dangerous, there'll be a lot more deep space rendezvous in the future. Well, thank you all very much for watching once again. And you take care wherever you're watching out in that big universe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.